Saturday, January 27, 2024. Daily Bread. Title The Lord is our only ruler. Judges chapter 8, verses 22 through 35. Key verse 23. But Gideon told him, I will not rule over you, nor will my son rule over you. The Lord will rule over you. Gideon's ephod. The Israelites said to Gideon, Rule over us, you, your son, and your grandson, because you have saved us from the hand of Midian. But Gideon told them, I will not rule over you, nor will my son rule over you. The Lord will rule over you. And he said, I do have one request, that each of you give me an earring from your share of the plunder. It was the custom of the Ishmaelites to wear gold earrings. They answered, We'll be glad to give them. So they spread out a garment, and each of them threw a ring from his plunder onto it. The weight of the gold rings he asked for came to the 1,700 shekels, not counting the ornaments, the pendants, and the purple garments worn by the kings of Midian or the chains that were on their camels' necks. Gideon made the gold into an ephod, which he placed in Oprah, his town. All Israel prostituted themselves by worshipping it there, and it became a snare to Gideon and his family. Gideon's Death Thus Midian was subdued before the Israelites, and did not raise its head again. During Gideon's lifetime, the land had peace forty years. Jerubal, son of Joash, went back home to live. He had seventy sons of his own, for he had many wives. His concubine, who lived in Shechem, also bore him a son, whom he named Abimelech. Gideon, son of Joash, died at a good old age and was buried in the tomb of his father Joash in Ophrah of the Abizrites. No sooner had Gideon died then the Israelites again prostituted themselves to the Baals. They set up Balbarit as their god, and did not remember the Lord their god, who had rescued them from the hands of all their enemies on every side. They also failed to show any loyalty to the family of Jerubal, that is Gideon, in spite of all the good things he had done for them. Daily Bread Number 1. Gideon's Pride and Idolatry After Gideon's victory, the Israelites wanted him as their leader, but he insisted only the Lord should rule over them. Despite this initial humility, Gideon later fell into pride. He made a special garment called Nephod from war spoils, and people started worshipping it. Pride is dangerous, especially for leaders. Even if we start out with good intentions to serve, teach the Bible, and shepherd students, we can gradually sh slip into self-centeredness and seeking recognition. We have to examine our heart and motivation daily. Always remember that as leaders, we are held to a higher standard. Everything we do should be centered around our love for God and pointing others back to Him. Number two, the Israelites did not remember the Lord their God. As soon as Gideon passed away, the people started worshiping idols. They forgot about God, Gideon's leadership, and gave in to their sinful desires. Without any spiritual direction, they wandered away from God. Being spiritual leaders is an important responsibility. Many students want to follow God, but they need help. They need guidance and accountability from God's people to show them the right way. Sometimes we feel like we've made too many mistakes and aren't good enough to be Bible teachers. But God uses even our failures and weaknesses as valuable learning experiences so we can understand and lead students. We struggle with wandering hearts too 
so we know how to help them. Our daily struggle is to remember the Lord our God and put him first into our lives. That is what we need to help our students do as well. Prayer, Lord, help me carefully look on my heart and motivation in how I'm serving you. I want to be a leader who only points others to you. One word, remember the Lord my God.